hello. <sighs> what a day it's been. You see the news about um, America? About Earth? Yeah, they have. They yeah. have. It's happening in quite a few timelines. Is it? Yeah, especially timelines where Ricks live on Earth. Seems like a interesting coincidence, doesn't it? Rick caused the COVID-19? We can't prove it, but yeah. there's a strong correlation. Yeah. Alright. So as our usual, allergies. No, I think I just smelled zero morty, but then again, I think I grabbed this sweater on the way out, so that might just be it. So every time he's in here and you come in here later, you can smell him. So, normally how our appointments go is you have your Morty and you talk to him and you talk to him to gentle Rick. Yeah. Here. But I got you something that might be a little bit more in depth, so let's go set this Morty down. Okay. And we have you. Oh my god! And he has a little Rick doll. Uh -huh. And then they can talk to the gentle Rick here. You know, I really love dolls, but I, I did do what you told me to, and I did not bring my doll today. I saw that. It's a good step. So it's up to you if you want to talk to the doll, or if you just want to hold it and talk to me. Okay. Um, but yeah, I left it at home. Good. That's a big step for you. This guy got <laughs> He can't even, he's gonna snap his neck. <laughs> it's letting up. So, uh, how'd this uh, last few days go for you? Any fights at the house? No, actually, everybody's just glued to the TV because of the whole, like, coronavirus thing. And he's looking at that. And... Uh -huh, the whole zero family? Yeah, yeah. How's uh how's Zero Rick reacting to this uh, virus? Just watching TV. Is he uh, saying anything like I hope it gets me, or does he seem scared? Well, he seems pretty neutral about it. Hmm. I even heard him say anything like that, but he did make a couple of like Corona jokes mm -hmm. about the beer being the virus and uh, oh. dumb things. Dumb things. Uh, I think that people, you know. Posting the memes, they're just trying to, trying to scare away from the real issue. Mm -hmm. Scared. Sorry, I had to run in. Oh. You had to what? Run. I had to run in. I had to run from the house here. You were running in. late? Yes. Couldn't find my stuff. Hmm. Is this a common thing? No. You don't remember Today where you put is your stuff? just stressful as well. Can I have a drink? No. Why? This is here for Rick's, not for Morty's. Fine. All right. Whatever. I've had a stressful day. Everybody is so worked up on the news right now. Are you afraid you're gonna die? No. Are you afraid your grandpa's gonna die? I mean, if he goes around Earth, maybe. I mean, he's got a lot of pre existing issues, which you probably do too. I don't think I have nearly as many as your grandpa does. Well, there is a reason that, you know, I would be concerned about his health. And your parents, how do they feel? Uh. My dad says he wishes the plague would reach him and kill him. And your mom? She just keeps drinking. I think honestly, most of my family doesn't care if like they die. I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's crazy that there is a situation going around with, where people just don't want to wash their hands. Yeah, that is odd. It's very simple. It's a step of hygiene. Like, he's not doing that. I think we are. 
I can tell you one person that I know who does that. Jug Rick. He does not wash his hands. Well, thank God he doesn't live under. Yeah, he's a pretty... He does it to a lot of people, too. Yeah, like, yeah, he does. He'd be a spreader, for sure. Absolutely. <sighs> Almost got stabbed last night with a fork. So, no big fights or anything. Mm -mm. No arguments. Mm -hmm. Well, we did argue over a fork. You and... Zero Morty. Ah. He really likes the big heavy weighted forks, and I forgot and I grabbed the big heavy weighted fork and he got mad at me. Uh -huh. And I tried to stab him. But I didn't stab him, and then he got his fork, and that was fine. I honestly, I don't care what fork I use. I was just mad that he got mad at me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't do it. So, do you feel like your how you feel about uh, Zero Morty is is becoming more positive, and your actions are more reactive rather than aggressive? I don't know what any of that means. Do you feel like you're being defensive or offensive? What's offensive? It means you're the one making the move. You're the one making the move. Probably. So you're my, purposely my, my trying to... My move to not make a move. Okay. Not react. Ah, uh, um, what is it called? Uh, observe, not... Uh, observe, not react. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. I'm just watching what happens and I, I, I move on. Well, that's good. I see you're having some improvement. <laughs> His zipper keeps making all that noise. So does uh, he know you have uh, the sweater? I don't know. It was on the um, couch before I ran out, so I just uh, put it on. Do you know it was his? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's clearly his. Did you think about how that might make him angry? Yeah, but uh, it was cold. You think he'll understand that? No. Okay. Yeah, that's a pride upset him. I'm, lot, I'm in my own head a lot right now. Mm -hmm. I, uh... I feel... that... there's change. Uh huh. Um, going on everywhere. Everything's changing and changing so quickly, just like what's happening on Earth. And so I'm reflecting upon that, and and um, I I get scared that I'm losing my identity. You're, you feel like you're losing your identity. Really? That's why I'm a little stressed out. Talk about the incident. Well, I mean. I'm mostly to blame for it, though. Like, you know, he... Super Rick fan. Grabbed a fork. Mm -hmm. And I told him time and time again that I like those forks. They're just heavy and weighted. I don't know why I specifically like a certain fork, but I just do. And he grabbed it, and, uh, yeah, I got mad. And he, uh, in defense was about to stab me, but he stopped. So that's really cool that he stopped. So, would you say, in in all, that your tensions between Super Rick Fan Morty and you are getting better, getting worse, or staying the same? Getting better. We actually went to the mall the other day together, and we all saw a movie, which was cool. Hmm. Uh, for the most part, it was all good. Uh, he had like, a little nervous breakdown at the end, but... All right. Does it seem like he's trying to be yes. more? Yes, he's definitely trying to get along with us, but it feels like a third wheel kind of situation, and I don't uh -huh. know why he's around me all the time. Like, I don't want to fight, but I also don't know what he's doing. It's concerning, you know what I mean? Because, like, one day he's your enemy, and then the next day he's like, that was pretty each other's hair. <laughs> like, obviously. Well, it looks like I need to cross one of my boundaries. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. All right, go ahead. What, what kind of boundaries do you have? I have a boundary where I like to keep a Morty distant from me. Do Mortys gross you out? No, it's more for a safety reason. 
Some Mortys get a little high strung. So, uh, they can't touch you, but you can touch them? Yeah, I'm generally not touching Mortys. Well, in the past, you've touched my knee a couple of times. You mean during group? Yeah, well, yeah, group, There's but... quite a lot less boundaries in group. When we're here, we're alone in an office. Here, you've touched my knee. I'm not mad, I'm just saying. I found that interesting. That's all. Yeah. And, um, I, I get scared that I'm losing my identity. Either you feel like you're losing your identity. As a person or as a Morty? As a Morty. As a Morty, uh-huh. So, what part, what aspects make you feel like you're losing your identity as a Morty? You know, like, I'm supposed to be super Rick fan Morty, but I don't feel like I've been a fan of Rick as, um, enthusiastically as I used to be. Maybe you're just growing up. Especially if he caused COVID-19, because, like, there are people dying from that. Did he do that? Well, we don't know. <laughs> Is there anything in particular that makes you feel like you're not as much of a fan of Rick's as you used to be? I'm just not interested in Rick. Mm-hmm. You used to be? Mm hmm. I mean, yeah. Used to do things with Ricks all the time. My grandpa, and then, you know, he, he went off and I went off. It was me. I'm the one that went off. But yeah, like, um, usually I'm like fascinated by all the Ricks, and uh, they're just kind of. They're not as fascinating anymore. Do you have like a new fascination or are you just kind of leveling out all your fascinations? Mm -hmm. You don't know or you don't want to tell me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Lawyer Morty's book? Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, that thing keeps mysteriously showing up in here. Like my hat. Mm hmm. It can it go on his head and off his head. That's cool. <laughs> so, if you don't feel like you have anything else you want to tell me, then I think we're doing good with this session. And, uh. Oh, I don't want to go yet. Okay. What would you like to talk about? I don't know. I don't want to go yet. I'm going to go already. I think a lot of the uh, problems you're facing are communication issues between you and Super Rick Van Morty, and especially you and your grandfather. That man just straight up hates me anymore, and I don't really actually understand what I did ever. Do you think it's less about you and more about his feelings on his life in the world? Maybe, but do you think that's very fair? No, I never said it was fair. I know, but I mean like... I just, uh, we've talked about this before, I just don't understand, uh, what I'm supposed to do with that. Like, I, you know, what am I supposed to do with that? I can't do anything with that. No, there's not much you can do with it, so you just kind of have to go on your own. Do your own thing. Yep, if he wants to be angry doing. and miserable, then I guess he's just gonna have to be angry and miserable. And you know, it's like he actively makes snide comments, like, you know, like, making it seem like, I'd be better off hanging out with him, even though, like, he would never hang out with me anymore. Like, Jesse and I were gonna go do something. I can't even remember what it was. It's a while back. I think we were going to a show, and he was, like, making comments about how, like, you know, I never want to hang out with him. Like, what? Excuse me? I never want to hang out with you. Like, yeah, I used to want to hang out with you all the time. How about that time you pushed me down the stairs? Asshole. I think he's got a lot of closeted anger issues. Yeah, well, he just shoved him up in your ass. <clears throat> I don't remember his sweater being this tore up. I had to grab a different sweater because I can't find my my hoodie. I guess it's a hoodie. 
This thing is trash. Look at that. Wow. I probably did all this damage. Skateboarding. <laughs> so super big fan of board tricks. Skateboarding. Uh, how's uh, that go? Not well. Did he fall down? Yes, he hurt himself. Did he get angry when he fell? No, he just cried and I got band-aids for him. Well, I'm glad to see that your guys' relationship is improving. I suppose I'm trying. I'm actively not trying to make itself worse. I mean, it will be difficult, but... Well, I think that uh, if you and him sat down and, and kind of talked about, you know, maybe not wanting to fight and argue so much and what you guys can do to stop the situation from starting when you feel like it's getting out of control. Yeah. That sounds good. Hi, I'm not a super big fan of Morty with my psychotic tendencies. Who, who the hell am I? Who do you feel like? I don't know. I'm not supposed to be screaming at you and yelling at you and projecting. I'm not doing any of that. Like, you know, mostly in our sessions, by this point, I'd be throwing the doll at you and... Yeah, that's true. That's why I'm asking what's on your mind. I'm worried that I'm not me no more. Well, you're always gonna be you. My nose is running. I think there might be werewolves. I keep having a lot of allergy problems and I think there might be werewolves here. They claim they've taken care of the werewolf problem, but I don't know. Are there too many cat morties? I haven't seen one in a little bit. So, you want to talk about your identity crisis? I guess, but you want me to go. No, I don't. I'm just saying if you're not going to talk about it, we might as well not sit here. Okay, I just don't feel like I want to follow around Rick right now. So, you want to go on your own adventure? Kind of. I just, um, I don't know. Like, he just sits in front of the TV, watching the news. Smoking, cough, I want to be right there. These look like horse legs. Nay. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know, Zero Morty goes out and he goes, you know, a concert, and then they went to a restaurant with Jesse, and like, they look like they have so much fun, and I just want to have fun with them. So, have you thought about maybe politely asking them if you could come along? Sometimes they let me, but then at the end, it's usually we fight. You and Jeremy. Mm -hmm. And what do you fight about? Oh, no, stupid things. Just really stupid things sometimes. Like, we just fought over a fork last night. I don't want to fight with him. Well, then I think you need to talk to him and let him know that you're trying your best to not fight with him because you don't want to fight with him. And see if you guys can come to some middle ground when it comes to when you feel like you're starting to get into an argument. Can I tell you something you don't tell nobody else? Like a secret? Mm -hmm. Sure. I really like him. Yeah, you want to be friends with him? You don't want to be friends with him? I mean, yeah, I want to be friends with him, but I really like him. So you want to be friends with him? I really like him. Anything else you want to talk about? No, not really. No? I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with my grandpa. Yeah, I think uh, he's got to fix a lot of issues of his own. Honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, here in, like, a couple days, he's just not there anymore and we find out he, like, you know, we got fucking coronavirus. <laughs> it's not funny. It's really not. But, like, I, you know, I almost have to, like, laugh to, to not. Like, when you see this, what do you expect to, like, go down to his garage and he's just, like, like a cocooned mummy, like, in the corner? 
Huh? Like he crawled away and took a an animal. I don't know. That's kind of how I envisioned it. <laughs> I just mean like he just went somewhere and got infected and then died somewhere. I don't know. You know that it can lay dormant in your body for up to two weeks before you That's, actually, yeah. Yeah, well, I've heard. I've gotten plenty he of... could already be sick, and I could be sick, and I could be spreading it to you. You know that? I think I need an What? Well, I've been washing my hands. Okay. <sighs> Show me with the dolls. Is it zero Morty? This is zero Morty. Um, no, that is. Well, I don't have much a, cuter. Than I don't that. have any other dolls. I don't really want to show you with the dolls. Okay. Well, it seems like you're having a hard time communicating to me what you're trying to say. No, I just told you. I really like him. That can be interpreted many ways. Yes, and you're interpreting it the wrong way. Well, then tell me the way I'm supposed to interpret it. I, um, there's a reason I can smell your name. Okay. Because I'm intrigued by him. You're intrigued by him. Okay. You shouldn't know that, that I'm a fan of his. Oh, so you've switched your allegiance. I don't know. I just think he's cute. And I just want him to get along with me because he's so cute. Well, I think if you take the steps that I just said, you can start working towards having a civilized relationship. You think so? Yes. No forks? No forks. I hope so. That'll be fun. You know, you know, go do things, then maybe Jesse can go home. And then, you know, we can just hang out with of us. Alright, well, that's all we have time for today. Where'd you get this? Had it made. Wow. Was it expensive to make this? No, yeah, not too bad. Well, that's good. It's so lifelike. Except my pupils are much bigger. Yes, they are. Thank you. Yeah, Don't you're tell welcome. a soul. I won't. Promise me. Yes, I promise you. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't bring it all. <laughs> I didn't bring it all. Oh, I crossed my boundary today. <laughs> <laughs>